Hey Piscatorians, welcome back to the channel. We're in Area 11 again. I got my good buddy Eric from Oregon visiting. He saw the uh, crab post and was like, bro, I want to come get some crab. So yeah, he made the trip up. He's a uh, fish hatchery manager for Oregon Fish and Wildlife, right? That's right. Yeah, Mackenzie River grows the trout for people to catch in Oregon. But today he's here to catch some crabs, so we're gonna drop them. Uh, for the bait, basically we're using chicken today because, well, I'm out of salmon carcasses, and that's just how it goes. But the chicken works just fine. Um, yeah, we're gonna drop some pots, see how we do. We'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, we're gonna drop this uh, pot at uh, 97 feet. Give it a shot, we got the cage going. Baited with the chicken. Perfect, we dropped two others. You guys have seen pots drop before, so not filming that, but uh, beautiful day out here today. Um, although it is overcast, a lot cooler, less people out here. So hopefully the spot's not all crabbed out. You know, we'll see how we do, and maybe we'll try some other spots if uh, it's not producing as well as we'd like. I'm gonna put this next one a little shallower. We're gonna go about 80 feet. See how that does. So just motor into uh, the appropriate depth here, and then we'll chuck it over. in the pot so one thing that's overlooked is the little flatfish fishery here we have rock sole and sand dabs which make excellent table fare and uh, we're gonna fish for those today while we wait uh, you got to fish less than 120 feet of water um, definitely want to look for the sandy bottom so you know right where your dungeon is crabbing is usually a good spot I'm using the uh, Kevin Brock inshore rod um, and then I got some uh, 30 pound braid on that with a little top shot of, uh, I don't know, like 12 pound mono. And then I'm just using kind of a, a top and bottom rig. I got a uh, four ounce sinker, but you can use two to four ounce depending on what the current's doing. And then a, a size two barbless hook. And then uh, basically we're using, I don't know if you can see here, there's shrimp that you get at Safeway. And uh, I'm just gonna bait the hooks with that. Um, you could do a two hook rig too, but uh, I wanna have some fun with them. You know, you can catch them pretty quick. Um, so, you know, limits 15 of the, uh, you know, other food fish, those uh, sand dabs, rock sole. So, we're just doing one hook today. We're going to have some fun with it. chunk of the shrimp put it on the uh, hook like so pretty simple and we're gonna move the camera here and we'll drop it down all the way to the bottom No, I just grabbed Never. a different rod. That one was cool, but she Oh, missed it, guys. Had our first strike, and I missed it. All right, Eric's hooked up. First one of the day. Yes, sir. <laughs> what was that, two seconds? Yeah. On the bottom? <laughs> Let's see it, Aaron. Hoist him over. 
Oh yeah, nice. that's, and, uh, that's a good one right there. About the right size. Yeah, that's a the dandy. Normal size. Yeah, that's a large one. Barbara's hooks. Oh, Eric's got me. I'm over too. Messing with the camera. They're a lot of fun though. A lot of fun. Checking the bait. Got it still. Dropping back down. Gotta try to get one in the boat before he catches the next one. <laughs> He's gonna outfish me. Another one on, guys. Hopefully, this one's bigger than the last one. We'll see. The last one was pretty tiny. Sand dab. Quite delicious too. I think they're really pretty fish. They get these orange spots. I don't know if you guys can see that, but uh, they all have a little bit different kind of camouflage patterns to them. They blend into that bottom. Eric still has a big one, but uh, you know, maybe I could catch a big one too. We'll see. <laughs> oh, I ripped it out of his mouth. Too big of a hook set. Oh, Eric's home. I think this is, this is a good size one. Yeah. It'd probably be like the first one. We'll, we'll, see. Later, we'll see. Fire. Got a double. Uh oh. Dude, that's not a bad one. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Hey, good job, buddy. Put it in the box. Oh, that one feels good. Okay. Feels like a bad one. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh. rock sole guys. They got a little bit of a rougher skin to them. But yeah, that's not a bad one. He swallowed it though. We're gonna have to perform surgery. Well, that one's fighting. This good. one's a good fighter. Oh, heck yeah. Give me out the fighting belt. <laughs> Got a double. Oh, wow, that's a nice one. Yeah, heck yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, rock soul. Nice. Rock soul, yeah. Got one, too. Oh, yep. There we are. Woo. Okay, back to reeling this one. Hopefully, it's still there. <laughs> Perfect. 
sir. Are you baited? Yeah, that rock soul fought a lot harder than the sand dabs. Yeah. I like eating with sand dabs better personally, but, you know, that's just my taste. <laughs> oh, maybe a shark. <laughs> yeah, it might be a shark. Oh, it's a little bit different coat to him. <laughs> Dogfish, maybe? Or it's one thing. Hey, up. double hook up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's small. We've got a shark here, guys. Yeah, dog fish. Good size, man. Yeah, look at that guy. Got some flyers there. There he goes. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Did you catch another shark? No. A flatty. But the sharks pull a little different. You kept your bait, Eric. I did, yeah. I've been. Oh, yeah. Lucky with that. Nice one. Oh, well, nice. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. That is a good one. Yeah, nice buddy. Woo! And delicious. That shark right up my my leader. Probably should change it, but uh, you know, if I catch another shark, it'll snap these sand abs. I think they're still good. On the snail. We got about ten minutes. Ten we're minutes. Hour for mark. our hour mark. Then we'll pull our first pot. See how we do. Sand apps here. Well, they're just in, you know, that sandy habitat, so. So, I mean, you just dropped your pots in one day, decided I'm yeah, gonna yeah. try to yeah. fish here? Okay. Yeah, just, uh, figured they should be there, and bam, you know, they're kind of all over them. The sandy bottom over there, it's got a bite, get him. Oh, <laughs> they, oh. Seems to be a good concentration of them today in that 70 to 80 foot. Oh, you got him. He's there. Little one. We're at 100 feet. I 
Either it's real small or I got nothing. All right, well, we're at 100 feet, so we'll uh, cruise back over to the, the drift and start over. All right, new drift. Here we go. Well, the wind's coming up. Yeah, it is. Yeah, the wind is making it harder to uh, hit these spots. It's a quicker drift now. That's the bite, that's what you're looking for. Or go ahead and open the bale. Perfect. All right, Carly doesn't do a whole lot of uh, bottom fishing, so I think this is her first sand dab on her own, huh? Doing the jigging. She, doesn't, she likes to troll, so pretty, pretty cool moment for you. Good job, honey. Your first sand dab. Not the giantest one, but you want to keep him or let him go? bigger. Good job, honey. <laughs> nice. Want to kiss it? No. No? Okay, she doesn't want to kiss it. Pulling in the first pot of the day. When do we stop this? Just when we see it? Huh? When do we stop it? Yeah, I'll tell you. crabs of the day. All right, pot number two. So we had two keeper red rock crabs and a female dungeon crab that we tossed back in pot number one. Let's see how pot number two goes. Hopefully better than pot number one. Thank 
that's going to be too small. Yeah, that's a California legal crab. This guy. I believe it's going to be the same. Oh no, he barely makes it. Alright. Barely by the skin of his teeth. Perfect. Let's check. Oh no, he's soft. So softy, just legal softy. Back it goes. Oh, that was sliding. <laughs> yeah, we got some couple keeper looking ones there. Yes, indeed. Thank you. I'm trying to run out. Yeah, oh, look at that, guys. We got a knocker. Got a knocker. I think everyone loves knockers, right? This is a knocker. Jerry, what show me your knockers. Is this one here. Eric, that's inappropriate. We're talking crabs here. Okay? Knocker, guys. That's it. But uh, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, yeah, nice and hard. Hold up your knocker. Eric, you want to get your punch card out? Sure. We'll add him to the card. That one is also baby knocker, but he's a little soft. Uh oh. He's a keeper, but soft, so he goes back. This one too small. This one too small. Oh, definitely a knocker. Yeah. This is barnacle. Well, we had Barnacle Bill last time, so he'll have to be Barnacle Steve. I don't know. What do you think? Yep. That's a good one. Two knockers. Gotta love two knockers in the pot. So, hey, you know, we got two keepers so far. Definitely have a crab dinner going. Ooh, I see crab. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, look at that starfish. That's a cool orange starfish right there. Yep. Yeah. Careful. Eric's 
got one too. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Alright, keeping it? Oh, well, he's kind of got a tumor on his tail. Maybe we'll let that one go. Alright. He's a little jacked up. My buddy brought to you the healing line. Check it out if you haven't seen it. I don't know. He's not that big. Well, he's alright, but. Yeah. You know, it's my seat of the wall. That's a good frying pan, son. I'll take him. Oh, and he gave him my shirt bag. That was very nice. Yeah, sand to have. Pan size. Well, Eric's got one as well. Dude, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Eric's back on. Sand down They gotta be just like stacked thick down there. It's like sitting on Sand down highway. Oh, oh, it came off. That's all right. It was a little one though. All right. Dinker. Yeah, I'm really enjoying these uh, K Brock rods, 7.6. It's nice. Um, they make a lighter one uh, that probably make this even more fun, like the 6 to 15, that's a 12 to 20. 
this would be an excellent rod though for like uh, kelp greenling, tabazone, uh, you know, inshore rockfish. Um, and it's doing the job here too. Just if you want like way more fight and you know make it more challenging with these sand abs. Uh, you know, you could go with the lighter ones, but they're excellent rod, lifetime warranty. Coming to the market soon. Ask your local retailers. They're gonna be staring at this. Oh, that one's got a, a tuma. We're going to let him go. Oh, yeah, you I have one. Maybe. Barely makes it. Barely a keeper. Knocking. <laughs> All right, Eric, start the ball. Right. Yep. Well, we had the battery die on us pulling up, but we got a couple keepers in this one. Look at that guy. Yeah. Another knocker. All right, Eric, I'll limit you out right there, buddy. All right, I'll punch my card. Oh, this big rock driver trying to get away. He's trying to pull the old Houdini act. This one. All right, that crab. Yep, that one's way too small. But this dude is huge. <laughs> and he does not want you to touch him. Look at that one. Jumbo. <laughs> Jumbo mama. Yeah, that's a good one. Alright. About him. Yeah, we'll get this one too. That's a big red rock crab as well. Oh. Look at those claws. It's a good one. Well, crabbing's a little slower today, but we got six dungies. And we got about seven or eight red rocks, but a lot of sand dabs. We got about 20 of those. All right, guys, our last run through of the pots. Ooh, I see some dungies. Maybe one. We'll see. Softies today. Bummer. Mm, that's shy. All right. Well, that was a sando. Nothing. Go. 
guy. This thing's huge. a pod finally oh, there, we go. there we go stick and stay and make it pay all right we got to measure these bad boys and get them in the box well guys we had a pretty decent day um quite a few softies we ran into but uh, we got a uh, good handful of rock crab and 11 keeper dungeness crabs for me my wife and uh my buddy eric uh here's the uh look at the box hopefully that comes through and then I don't know if you can see this but uh, we got some quality sole and uh, quality well that's another sole but quality sand dabs as well so we got several fish to clean when we get home but all in all one good heck of a sand dab and crab combo hope you guys liked today's video if you did, remember to smash the like button. Also, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Hit that subscribe button for me. And as always, guys, high lines.